Oh my goodness. Well, just last week, so I was on the autopsy service last week, um, we had a, a, a young woman who had had lymphoma early in life, uh, who had um, gotten a lot of chemotherapy for her lymphoma and was cured, but the chemotherapy caused her heart to fail, so it was toxic to her heart, so she needed a heart transplant. And so um, they, they got a brand new heart from a donor in one of the other hospitals in Boston, and they put it in, and she was doing great for a couple days. And then suddenly, two days after her surgery, she sat up in bed, got in a, in a distressed look on her face, and died. And uh, this is not supposed to happen, obviously. So in the autopsy suite, um, my specialty is cardiovascular, heart, and vessel pathology. And I do a lot with the transplant surgeons. The surgeons were there. Their, their minions, their, their assistants were there. The cardiologists were there. The nurses were there. And we're all examining the heart together because that's where the action was. And what had happened is that the surgeon had sewn the new heart into the body, but one of the knots had come undone. And the sutures unraveled, and she had a hole literally in one part of her heart, and she had bled out all at once um, with, because of the hole. And it, it was a learning opportunity for everyone, but it was one of the more dramatic examples in an autopsy that I've had. That was just last week.